All right, so I just met these folks here. Gave them a bunch of food in these bags, whatnot, from the donations and things that I did myself. And we'll just start from left to right. What's your young, this young man right here, what's your name? George Durant. George Durant. Robin Gray. Robin Gray. And then, Don. And, and, and Don. Uh, how long y'all been on the streets? Oh, I've been here since, since I got out of prison in July. Okay, so pretty new for you. Right. Okay, and... Uh, about August of last year. Right. 20 years. 20 years. Are you guys in a camp or you kind of do it on your own? Kind of do it on your own. Yeah. Do it on our own. Where are you originally from? St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay. You? Michigan. Mich what part? Detroit. Detroit. Fort Pierce, Florida. Fort Pierce. Two from Florida. Let me, from. Tell you this. Let me tell you this. I tell want, me. Say anything you want. I want all of you. I want everybody to know that Brevard County has no place for people coming out of jail and prison. They have no place for the homeless. And, and no this help. Kind, no help. This county really, really, really needs an injection for people who really want to change their lives, you know, and be, you know, positive contributors to society. Absolutely. I gave this gentleman here. He, I got him. Thank you. He, he's one. Of, he's the one that told me y'all were over here. So God bless him as well. Uh, so, um, how did y'all wind up on the streets? He, this, this, this guy did a, a little prison stint. What, what happened with y'all? My car broke down. I was on my way to Daytona. I'm an electrician. Right. I pawned all my tools. No and shit. The car, the brain went out three days later. Wow. And you've been stuck ever since. And yeah. what about you, young lady? How'd you wind up on the street? I got beat. Bad. I was in the hospital ten and a half weeks. Oh my God. I'm sorry. And I lost everything. They took my kids. They wanted to put me in a mental institution. I'm sorry. It wasn't fun, and it hasn't been fun. No, it's not. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. I don't remember the beating. I don't remember the first seven and a half weeks of the hospital stay. No, you, that, that's fine. You don't have to, listen. God bless you, number one. First of all, you're still standing. Yeah. You got folks here that are that are here watching over you yeah, yeah. and making sure that you never get beat again. That's yeah, number, yeah. you know my what I mean? Man, my old man would kill somebody if they touched Absolutely. Me. So you're, you're safe. So that's one good thing. And then, you know, try to find a silver lining. You may have found some family even in this terrible circumstance, you know. Right. One thing I'm noticing when I talk to all these folks is everyone's really positive, man. Now, there's yeah. a lot of people yeah. that have a home and have food tonight and they're miserable. Right. And they're not very positive about a lot of things. Here, jump in here, brother. Everything. Yeah, and um, yeah, here's four folks. I fed one little park right here. Four folks that I was able to give. Right. And, and thank everybody for all donations and thank everybody here. Um, yeah, listen, I, I, I'll tell you this. Go ahead, brother. And Angel, I want to say this. Fat know, Angel. Fat Angel. Some people... <laughs> some people you know, they discard people like us that have fallen on, un, un, you know, unusual circumstances. Right. But everybody that's on that's homeless and on the street isn't a drug addict. You know, some of us had mental health issues. Some of us sure. experienced, children, you know, trauma as children. You know, however, these are some of the most li loving, giving, strongest people that I've ever met, man. You know. You got to be strong, that's for sure. You got to be strong. You got to be strong to do this. I know you, people can have any criticism they want. You better be strong and a survivor to do what y'all are doing. This yeah, is, man. You I mean, it. literally from the weather itself. Right on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So one thing y'all yeah. got is strength. Nobody can take that away from you. What you got to keep is faith. And unfortunately, you're right. When there's not a lot of help, it's really hard to do a lot of things. Nobody starts a business without a bank giving them help and giving them $100,000, $500,000. You know right. what I'm saying? Exactly. So everyone got help to do the things that they do. We're just trying to get to Chattanooga, Tennessee, because they have so much help for the homeless. Okay, really? Yes. So so maybe a lot of people didn't know that. So why Tennessee? What what are they doing differently there? Chattanooga, Tennessee, they uh -huh. have a lot of programs for the homeless. So you just need to get there? Yes. yes. So let me ask you this. Yes. I'm going to put an appeal out. You know there's a Greyhound station here, right? right. Yes. If that's all you need, I'm going to find out how much it costs to get to Chattanooga. I'm gonna challenge somebody to give me that money. I'll get you to Chattanooga, okay? I'm gonna find out for the two of you. If, yeah. if that's what yeah. you want, if that's what you need, yeah. I'm appealing here. I want y'all both to look into this camera. I swear to you, we're gonna make this happen, okay? okay. With this gentleman right here who's from Tampa. Folks, they need to get to Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's all they're asking for. Just make an appeal and just say anything you want. We're gonna get you there. What all do you got to say? All I need to do is get to Chattanooga and try this. Okay. Get in these programs. So there's not only programs, there's programs that'll buy him tools. And my church, 
Abba's house up there. I lost my phone. I don't have the number, but they will buy him a vehicle. So let me ask you, if I can arrange this and I'm going to do everything I can, we're going to get, I'm going to hand you two tickets for Greyhound yes. to Chattanooga. Oh God, yes, That's what y'all want. Yes. yes. All right. I'm not making any promises, but someone out there, if they could send me $100, someone's going to buy them tickets for me. I can tell you that right now. I'll Amen. make sure of it. Yeah, it's all already right? done. Yeah, all we right? believe it. We believe it. By faith. All right. Faith. God bless y'all. Of course. Have faith. faith. Please. Faith. Yeah, uh, add whatever you want, my brother. I say that, um, that you know, during this coronavirus, you know, I mean, people have really come out and, you know, distributed food and uh, contributed, you know, very much, you know, here in America, you know. And I'm sure in other countries, I hope they're doing the same thing, God willing, you know, and God bless everybody in the whole world, you know. Yeah, so everyone's they, trying, man. Yes. If there's anything, people are coming together based on this whole situation. Yes, and and, and and this situation is crazy. We don't even know what's true anymore, what's not. No, we don't know. They're, they're using the it for. Media. Yeah, the media is real funny about this whole thing. Yes. Um. Well, listen, I appreciate y'all's time. I'm actually going to give you the rest of this food. I'm going to call it a day. I don't got much more. So uh, I'm going to fill their bags up. Thank You'll be God. able to give it to, you, to, to your, your other person over there. Yeah. And listen, these folks, they just want to get to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Somebody make it happen. Y'all got money. Someone's a beachside right now and a million dollar home is going to see this. Help these people get to Chattanooga. That's all they're asking for. We're going to make it happen one way or another. This is the fat angel. What do y'all want to say? How about uh, God hey, bless? Hey, God, God bless, bless everybody. Bless everybody. Bless everybody. I'm, trying, I'm trying to get to New day. Hampshire. He's trying to get to New Hampshire. Manchester, well, New we'll Hampshire. work on that too. We'll, we'll work on that too. And some folks are just here in Florida enjoying Amen. that sunshine, right? Amen. Amen. There's Amen. a big Amen. dude right here, tall guy. Look at this guy right here. 6'4, 280, man. Hey, I'm the, I'm the protector. I'm the protector. I'm yeah, the protector. man. Ain't nobody messing with this group right here, I nah, tell you nah, that. Nah, nah, Watch nah. out now. All right.